Hi friends, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In this video, we will understand how to set up EFK in AWS EKS cluster to monitor application logs. All right, let's get started. EFK is the combination of three open source products. One is Elasticsearch, second one is FluentD, and third one is Kibana. This EFK stack is used for centralized logging of our application log messages. When we are running application in the production environment, multiple users will be accessing our application and there is a chance of getting some exceptions also in our application. Here we need to understand the runtime behavior of our application and we need to understand the problems that are occurring in the application. For that we need to monitor logs of the application. Log monitoring is one of the most important task in the real environment. Application will be running in multiple machines and in multiple containers. Monitoring the logs of all the containers will be very difficult task. To avoid that problem, we need to segregate the logs of the application and we should provide a single platform to get all the logs of the application. That's where EFK stack comes into picture. In this, Elasticsearch is used for storing the logs and FluentD will ship the logs from our containers to the Elasticsearch database and Kibana will provide graphical user interface to query the logs from the Elasticsearch. Let us understand the architecture of our EFK. Here if you observe, our application will be running in the multiple containers. Those application containers are going to generate the logs and when the logs are generated, those logs should be collected by FluentD. FluentD should send the logs to Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch should give the logs to Kibana. We will use Kibana dashboard to get the logs of the application. Kibana will get the logs from Elasticsearch. FluentD will get the logs from the application and will send it to Elasticsearch. Now here, let me deploy one application in the Kubernetes cluster and let me perform some operation on the application. So once we perform the operation on the application, we will use Kibana dashboard to get the log messages like this. The Kibana dashboard is going to look like this. Now here, I'm having my Kubernetes cluster in the AWS. I have used AWS EKS cluster. You can see the worker nodes that are running in my cluster. kubectl get nodes. There are two worker nodes available in my EKS cluster. Those worker nodes are in the ready state. I have one Docker image for my application. The Docker image I have already stored into my Docker Hub account. The image name is ashokit slash sb logger app. This is Spring Boot logger application. Let me deploy this Docker image in the Kubernetes cluster by using deployment YML. So here I'm having deployment YML. In this deployment YML, I'm giving the kind as deployment, replicas I'm giving as two, and here I have configured my Docker image. Image name, ashokit slash SB logger app. By using this image, I will deploy my application. When I deploy this application, the two pods will be created. To expose those pods outside the cluster, I'm creating a service. In the service, I'm giving the pod label as a selector and I'm giving the service type as load balancer. So here, when I execute this YML, my application will be deployed and those pods will be exposed as load balancer service. Let me execute this YML, kubectl, apply hyphen here, deployment.yml. With this, my application deployment got created and service is also created. We can check that by using kubectl get all. What are the components that got created? You can see two pods got created and one service got created and one deployment got created. The deployment internally created replica set. Two pods are in the running status and here service. This is my application service. Type is load balancer. This is the load balancer URL. Port number is 80. That is the default port. Now let me take this load balancer URL 
let's go to browser and let's access our application take this URL hit in the browser now we can see the application is accessible in the browser this is my Spring Boot application if you see view all products no records are available let me insert few records here product name I am giving as mouse and product price 100 quantity I am giving as 25 click on submit one product got saved let me insert one more product here keyboard is available price I am giving as 2500 quantity I am giving as 15 submit another product got saved and we can go to view products page and we can see the products which we have inserted so as an end user I am performing some operations on my application when we perform operations on our application application will generate some logs those are called log messages those log messages are used to understand what happened in our application and how our application is getting executed in general how can we monitor logs of our application so here you can see our pods are running we can get the pods which are running for our application kubectl get pods we can monitor the logs of our pods by using kubectl logs and pod name here we will get the pod logs so if you have one pod you can monitor like this but we are having multiple pods right monitoring the logs of all the pods will become very very difficult so here you can see product view page is loaded we are able to get that we are able to get the log message but if you have 10 pods how can you monitor the logs of all the 10 pods difficult to monitor by using this kubectl logs command so that's where we are going to set up efk for our application log monitoring here in this cluster we are going to install fluentd elastic search and kibana fluentd will be installed as a daemon set that should collect the logs from all the pods all the nodes and give it to elastic search elastic search will be deployed by using stateful set it will maintain a volume to store the logs which are given by fluentd and kibana will be deployed by using deployment Kibana will provide user interface to monitor logs of the application. Now we need to set up this FluentD, Elasticsearch and Kibana in our AWS EKS cluster. In the same cluster, our application is running. To monitor application logs, we will set up that EFK. Here, to set up this EFK, I have created manifest YMLs. Those manifest YMLs I have stored in my GitHub repository. This is my GitHub account username. Here, this is the repository name. In this repository, there is a folder, EFK log folder. In that, we can see seven manifest YMLs I have uploaded here. First one is for namespace. Second one, third one for the elastic search. Fourth one, fifth one for the fluentd. Sixth one and seventh one for the Kibana. Here, namespace YML contains the information to create the new namespace. The name I am giving as EFK log. Under that namespace, I'm going to create Elasticsearch, Fluentd, and Kibana. Elasticsearch service is available. Elasticsearch stateful set is available. You can go through this YML and you can understand what configuration is available in this YMLs. Now here, Elasticsearch will be deployed as a stateful set. For that, you can see that kind will be configured as a stateful set. And Elasticsearch will be deployed on the port number 9200. Remember the port number of the elastic set, it is 9200. And FluentD will be deployed as a daemon set. Daemon set means a copy of the pod will be created on all the nodes which are running in the cluster. This FluentD will be connected to elastic set because FluentD will get the logs and will send the logs to elastic set. Fine. The next one is Kibana. Kibana will be deployed by using deployment. Right. Kibana will be connected to elastic search because kibana should get the logs from the elastic search here you can see the elastic search url configured in the kibana manifest yml then kibana pods will be exposed as a load balancer service so that we can access the kibana dashboard outside of the cluster these are the seven manifest yml's are available you can clone this github repository to deploy all these yml's i have cloned all of them into my machine so let me go into the directory 
manifest YMX. In that, I am having EFK log directory, CD space EFK log directory. Fine. If I list down the files, all the seven YMLs are available. You can execute them one by one or you can execute all of them at a time. For that, I will use kubectl apply hyphen f space dot. With this, all these YMLs file, why all these YML files will be executed. Those resources will be created under EFK log namespace. Namespace will be created with this YML. Here, execute. With this, you can see all the resources which are created under this namespace EFK log. Fine. Let us check what all the components that got created under this namespace. kubectl get all hyphen n EFK log. So here I am giving the namespace. In this namespace, what all the resources are created? I want to get all the resources here. Now you can see Elasticsearch pods created, Fluentd pods created, and Kibana pod is created. All these pods are in the running status. And you can see Kibana service is created as a load balancer type, and Elasticsearch service is created as cluster IP type. Elasticsearch will be accessed only within the cluster. Kibana can be accessed outside the cluster also. Fluentd created by using daemon set. Kibana created by using deployment. Got it. Deployment will be internally using replica set. And elastic search is created by using stateful set. As I have shown you in the diagram, Fluentd will be created as daemon set. Elastic search will be created as a stateful set. Kibana will be created as deployment. Fine. Now here, all these things are up and running. Now I want to access Kibana dashboard to get the logs of the application. Kibana service type is load balancer. Load balancer URL got generated. This load balancer exposing the Kibana on the port number 5601. Let's go to our AWS dashboard. Check the load balancers. Two load balancers should be available. One load balancer is for our application, Spring Boot application that we are accessing here. Another load balancer for Kibana. Let's go to these load balancers and you can see the two load balancers that are available. First, I have created my application. Then I have created Kibana. So the second one is Kibana load balancer. Go to this Kibana load balancer, check the security group and enable 5601 port number to access the Kibana. So here, this is the security group which is associated to this load balancer. Click on this security group. This is the security group ID. Go inside that. There you can see inbound rules. Click on edit inbound rules. I have already configured 5601 port number on this security group to allow the traffic. Any request which is coming to this load balancer with 5601 port number that should be allowed. If you don't have it, then you need to configure this and save your rule. Once you have saved it, then go to your services and take this load balancer URL of the Kibana. Let's copy this URL. Copy this URL. Then go to browser. Then access your Kibana application. I'm hitting Kibana URL. Directly with this URL, you cannot access. For that, we are using 5601. Give the port number. With this port number, now I am able to access my Kibana application. Once Kibana dashboard is open, here, you can click on explore on my own. Then go here. There is an option called discover option is available. Click on this discover. Here we need to create the index pattern to get the logs of our application. In this index pattern, give star. Then you can click on the next step. Here you need to select the filter field name. The filter field name, you can select it as a timestamp. Then click on create index pattern. With this, our index pattern got created. Then go back to the discover option here and click on this. Once you click on the discover, then you can see our dashboard is loading with the log messages. Here we can monitor our Kubernetes cluster logs as well as our application logs also. Here I want to get my application logs. As we have seen earlier by using kubectl logs, product page loaded, product saved, those messages got printed on the terminal. Now I want to get those messages using this Kibana dashboard. 
let's filter that by using our keyword as product now i have given product you can see here april 10 2023 at 2240 right that means at 1040 my log message got generated you can remember this timestamp 2240 product view page loaded now let me go to my application and let me add one new product so enter the product name as some mouse pad and price i'm giving as 50 and quantity i'm giving as 100 click on submit with this what happened product got saved go to our kibana dashboard and search for the log last log we have seen at 2040 now i have given the product keyword and click on refresh now you can see 2041 log message available as product view page loaded just now at 1044 product got saved that log message whatever the log my application is generating the latest log messages i'm able to monitor by using this kibana dashboard in this kibana dashboard we have options to get the logs here you can select based on this requirement based on your requirement you can get the logs do you want to get the last 30 minutes logs last 24 hours last 30 days last 90 days so what time period logs that you want to get you can select it from here and you can click on apply and refresh with this it will give you the logs as per your search request and here we have selected index pattern as a timestamp so at what time how many logs are generated by our application that is displaying in the graphic format here i hope you understand what is this efk and how we are monitoring the logs by using efk so remember kibana is used for getting the logs from the elastic search Fluentd will collect the logs from the application, will store in the Elasticsearch. I hope you understood what is EFK, how to set up the EFK in the AWS EKS cluster. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more updates on our upcoming videos.